There we go, here comes. Oh, that was a bit weak. <laughs> he got caught and decided to give up. But it looks like the clouds breaking up. It was mostly mist this morning, so we're in for a sunny day. Kurula has gone to sleep in a tree, probably about 100 meters from here, after growling at the cubs, telling them to stay put. And Shungila is keeping herself entertained with grass and Hosanna with just watching her. Anna would like to know, do I think Hosanna weighs as much as Krula? I would say probably even a bit more already. So most definitely as much, if not more than she does. Oh, here we go. That was pretty. <laughs> Can you hear the hissing? Shongila not impressed with Hosanna. She might come have a drink. Oh, a frog! <laughs> uh, it looked like an African bullfrog that just leapt into the pan there. That confused her a little bit. How the patients came, see if the frog pops its head up. Sid would like to know, how do we tell the difference between the different leopards? Well, one of the first things we look at is where we find them, from where their home ranges and territories are. Between Hosanna and Shungile, it's very easy. He's more than double her size already. Uh, these guys are, oh, what is it now? A year and two months old. Bless you. And... Other than that, they, they definitely have different body shapes, different colorations, but the most, the best way to actually tell the difference, uh, and the one that's most commonly used, is a spot pattern. Let me just see if I've got a, there we go, a picture of, actually while she, oh no, turn your head back towards us. No, she doesn't want to. But the last line of spots above her whiskers is a unique as your fingerprint is. So especially if you don't see a leopard too often, the way we identify them is from that last line of spots above the whiskers. There we go, you can see she's got, she's actually got f five, or is that just a bit of wet, four on the left. Oh, is Hosanna going to decide to come barreling in again? Sam's wondering, when they get older, do siblings mate? Uh, it is possible. Big cats are well known in breeders, but generally they don't have any genetic effect if, uh, for up to about three or four generations of inbreeding. But normally the young males dispersal, uh, they disperse far enough away that they never rate with aunties, mothers, and sisters, but it does happen from time to time that they will inbreed. Oh, the sign is up. <laughs> 